Hey everybody, my name is Toby. And I'm George. And we are Wildlife Rangers, right here at Ranger HQ. And you're just in time for today's task. We are in charge of the zoo pad, and we are filling it with information about all the animals that live at the zoo. Let's take a look to discover which animal we need to find out more about today. The humpback whale. What do humpback whales eat? What do humpback whales eat? Mm. Well, I think we might need to take the ranger boat to find out. George, are you ready to take everyone to the boat to find out more about the humpback whale? Definitely. Are you ready? Let's go. Welcome to our research vessel. This is where we do all of our animal learning when out at sea. And it's the perfect place to learn more about humpback whales. We need to find out about what they eat. Let's start by seeing what we can learn about these incredible animals. We've managed to find one! Amazing! Aren't they big? A humpback whale can grow up to 19 metres in length. That's about four times the length of a car. And they can weigh up to 40 tonnes, which is about seven times heavier than an African elephant. Oh, that's huge! They live in groups known as pods and can live until they're about 80 to 90 years old. Humpback whales are well known for singing their musical calls, which can last more than half an hour. Only males sing and they use a variety of sounds from high-pitched whistles to deep grumbling noises. Scientists think they do this to attract a female humpback whale or to let other male humpbacks know that they're in the area. Let's have a listen to their singing. Humpback whales migrate really long distances. This means they travel really long distances at certain times of the year. Lots of animals do this, normally to breed or to find food or to hibernate for the winter or maybe just because it's too hot or cold where they are. In the southern hemisphere or the bottom half of the planet below the equator, humpback whales live off their fat reserves for about half of the year. They do this as they migrate from their tropical breeding grounds to the Antarctic to feed on something called krill. Humpback whales migrate from cold areas they feed in to warmer areas around the equator, that's the middle of the earth where it's really hot, to have babies or calves as baby humpbacks are known as. Mothers and their babies will swim close to each other and even make contact every so often, a bit like we hug each other. The baby humpbacks will swim with their mothers until they're about one but they don't fully mature or become adults until they're about 10 years old. Mothers are very protective of their young and will put themselves in between any dangers and their babies. Humpback whales are powerful swimmers. Their tail fin, known as a fluke, helps to propel them through the water. In fact, it's so powerful it can help to propel them out of the water. When they leap from the water, this is called breaching. Lots of different whales and dolphins do it. And it always ends with an almighty splash. Whoa, get a load of that. Humpback whales are so interesting. Did you know the largest animal to have ever lived is a whale? And they're still alive today. Whales are incredible. In fact, I think we should watch a fact file on whales. Let's load one up, George. From the biggest animal ever to whales that look like underwater unicorns, here is our fact file on top whale facts. Number one, we have lots in common with whales. It might seem strange. After all, whales are the largest animals on Earth and they live in every single ocean. But we are similar. Whales have to come to the surface to breathe, as we both 
breathe air into our lungs. Baby humans and whales both drink milk their mothers make. And we make lots of different noises to communicate. We just call it talking when we do it. Number two, the biggest animal ever. The largest animal to have ever lived is still alive. And it's a blue whale, bigger than any dinosaur. The Antarctic blue whale is the largest animal on the planet, weighing up to 200 tons, which is about the same as 33 elephants. <laughs> and they can reach up to 30 meters in length. They can even eat about three and a half thousand kilograms of food in a day. Number three, different types of whales. There are two different groups of whales. The first is the toothed whale. These whales get their names because they have teeth. This includes whales such as the beluga, the sperm whale and the orca. They all have teeth which means they are able to eat bigger prey, such as fish and even squid. The second type is the baleen whale. This includes humpback whales and blue whales. These whales don't have teeth. Instead, they have great big filters in their mouths, and this is so that they can eat food like plankton, which, unlike a whale, is tiny little animals and organisms that the whales eat lots and lots of. Brilliant! That was definitely a handy fact file. And I think it even told us what humpback whales eat. So, we know there are two types of whale. Baleen and toothed whale. And we know that humpbacks are not toothed whales. Let's see if we can answer the zoo pad's question. Do you think they eat fish with their teeth? Or... Do you think they eat tiny plankton and krill with their built-in filters? That's right, they eat plankton. Humpback whales used to be hunted, which meant that there were not many left in the wild. Fortunately, thanks to new rules that stop people from hunting, they are now doing a lot better. Unfortunately, there are many whales that do need our help. One thing we can do is eat less fish. Whales often get caught in leftover fishing nets. So eating less fish means there are less nets out there for whales to get injured. Thank you very much for coming out to sea with us today. The zoo pad is now filled with information about the incredible humpback whale. Remember, if you like this video, be sure to hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss out on any of our ranger adventures. I can't wait to see you on the next ranger adventure. Goodbye!